This episode will deal with the importance of insulin resistance in the development and treatment of overweight and diabetes. When people gain weight for whatever reason, it, it doesn't have to be much, it could be as little as 10 or 15 pounds. This fat that is accumulated, it's deep in the abdomen and it's called toxic fat. Toxic because it makes bad chemicals that interfere with uh, the action of various uh, procedures in the body. The most important of these is that these chemicals are selective antagonists to the blood sugar lowering effect of insulin. They get in the way of controlling the most important action of insulin. However, the body responds automatically to this threat to a rising blood sugar by sending out more insulin and thereby keeps the blood sugar under control. It seems like all is well. However, with the excess insulin on board, it's not all well because insulin has other actions and some of these are not affected by the toxic fat factory product. The most important of these other actions is that it is the fat building hormone of the body. Not just the fat building, but also the fat storing and fat locking hormone. So what you've crafted here is uh, a metabolic trap where by giving uh, a little bit of weight to the body, it now uh, automatically puts more weight on because of the action of insulin. And it ultimately gets to be heavy enough and people are old enough and they can't keep up with the increased demand and they become diabetic. Now, that situation is remarkably uh, amenable to the um, reversal of diabetes by a, a program that reduces insulin. You can also prevent diabetes by doing the same thing. And how do we, re how do we uh, reverse the insulin? We do it in two ways. One is by a low carbohydrate diet, which is easy enough to get nowadays, and also the addition of aerobic exercise, which is also not too difficult to obtain. Between these two, within four days' time, when we track the level of insulin in the blood, it's so low that by the third and fourth day, we cannot measure it at all. Now, what this means is that, literally, insulin has been the jailer of stored fat. You now have fired the jailer, and you've caused the prison gates to open up and liberate that stored fat to come out and help work for you. Now, the liberated fat has the power to help you lose weight by a complicated series of actions which we will discuss in subsequent uh, presentations. In the meantime, what's happening here is that you also have a problem of excess insulin uh, giving you adverse disease-related effects that people never thought would be related to just overweight, in addition to diabetes, heart disease, cancers, and infertility and so on. They all result from too much insulin. So learning how to reduce the insulin by those measures that we've just described is a very important uh, treatment for people who are afflicted by not just obesity and diabetes, but all the other things that go with the insulin resistance syndrome.